This is the hardware needed to assemble a raising and lowering system. First, we have four locking carabiners. We have two Prusik mining pulleys. We have a radium release hitch. We have a brake bar. We have four Prusiks, two large, two small, and an anchor plate. Now let's construct our raising and lowering system. First, I want to point out that we have to lower the rescue personnel to the victim, package the victim in the stokes, and then raise the victim up so we can transport the victim to medical help. I'd like to say that first, this is our anchor, and at the other end of the rope will be the rescue person for the lowering system, and once we convert to the raising system, it will be the stokes coming up. Now, we take the anchor plate and one locking carabiner, attach the locking carabiner to our anchor, making sure that we secure the locking carabiner. Now we need to place the brake bar on the anchor plane. Grabbing our locking carabiner, we place the brake bar on the right hand side of the anchor plate, securing our locking carabiner. Next, we need to place the radium release hitch on the left hand side of the anchor bar. Remembering that the black carabiner is the anchor side of the radium release hitch. And the silver locking carabiner is the load side. On the load side of the radium release hitch, we place a Prusik mining pulley and two Prusiks. Once we have converted from a lowering system to a raising system, the Prusiks are used to help stop the load in case of a system failure. Now, let's construct the lowering system. We have our rope with the victim down that direction. We place the rope inside of the brake bar. First, we open the brake bar. Replace the rope over the top. We close the blue anodized bar first. Then we close second bar, then we close the third bar. In most lowering situations, we only utilize these three bars. If we use the last two bars, we will be creating too much friction and you will not be able to lower the technicians to the victim. Now we need to secure the rope. This is done by taking the rope and wrapping it around the brake bar once, taking the bend in the rope and tying a half hitch in the rope and tying another half hitch in the rope. This secures the rope and makes it safe so that you can take your hands off. We have already lowered the technician down to the victim. Now we need to convert the system from a lowering system to a raising system so that we can remove both the technicians and the victims from the scene. First, we take off the Prusik binding pulley from the locking carabiner. We place it on the bottom of our locking knot. We place the carabiner through the rescue pulley. We take our two Prusiks and we tie a Prusik hitch in the rope. Remembering to dress it neatly. And tying 
the red prussic first. Next, we tie the turquoise prussic. Again, dressing the knot. Once we have tied both prussic knots, we slide them up to the pulley and attach them into the carabiner. Locking the carabiner. Now that we have, have attached the raising part of the system to the main rope, we can disconnect the brake bar. This is done by releasing our nut, setting our Prussix, which now puts all of the load onto this side of the anchor plate. Now we can remove the rope from the brake bar. and we can make the rest of our raising system. Now let's construct the remaining portion of our raising system. We are going to use a three to one mechanical advantage. First, we're gonna place our prussics onto the main rope. Put our second prussic on our main rope. Now we are going to attach our prussic mining pulley to the rope. We are going to attach the two prussics to our pulley, setting our prussics. And last, we have our three to one mechanical advantage. One two, three to one. This is created with our Prussic mining pulley, our locking carabiner, and our two Prussics. Well, that's it. We hope you find this video useful. And remember, practice makes perfect. Practice, practice, practice. If any questions ever arise, you can contact us in person. Gotta rescue, gotta go. Hope I remember my knot skills. <laughs>